everybody, it's Crazy Fango Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to Chapter 3, uh, Boba Fett. Uh, of Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett, obviously. Whew, it's really hot today, so I apologize if I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm going to continue with Chapter 3 of Boba Fett. Um, last episode was absolutely amazing. I want to apologize as well for the absolute horror of that episode being uploaded like five times. The copyright on that was ridiculous. Like, every single second was like, copyright, copyright, copyright. So, majority of the time, I was just like, hmm, my brain, like, oh, I can't keep up with this. Sometimes it's very annoying when those things happen. So, it was getting to the point where I was like, do I even upload this? And finally, after using, like, the picture of Boba Fett in many of the shots, finally it wasn't copyright. And I was able to upload it. Thank the Lord. <laughs> so, thank the Lord on that one. But yeah, I'm excited to see where the story goes. It's going in a very di different direction than I thought it would, um, but it's exciting. Like, I'm excited to see where the story is taking us, where Boba is taking us, and um, how he's going to be different than a lot of other rulers um, as the boss, <laughs> as the big boss in this scenario. Um, obviously, we did find out that um, the two cousins of... Um, What's his face? I'm drawing a blank. Um, yeah, it's not coming to my brain. It'll come in the episode and then I'll be like, ah, that's who I was talking about. But you know, the cousin, the two twin cousins of the person who was the previous person sitting on the throne. Um, Jabba the Hutt. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember. Also, I can't remember who that figure was. Um... The guy who looks like Chewbacca, but it looks like he's, like, a really, really scary version. Um, but really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure he has history with Boba. Um, because I, it was in the comic books. He's a comic book character. I think a comic book character or graphic story character from the Star Wars, like, lore. Um, so I'm excited about that because... Um, Mitch and Alex, people who know them, we used to do the Mandalorian uh, podcast, so then they like educated me on all that stuff. But anyway, let's jump into that um, later. We'll talk about that more later if he pops up. But yeah, let's jump straight into this episode because I'm super excited and I'm excited to see where the story goes. So yeah, but before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Hmm. I thought it was the cousins. Yeah. Or it could be somebody else. <laughs> they are half man, half machine. They modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly. I, I was oh, I've never heard of that in Star Wars. Have we? That's kind of cool though, but I'm sort of like, have we met? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Have we met anybody that's like that? Oh, oh, oh my god, this looks like from, like, the old school movies. This literally looks like something out of New Hope or something. The colour scheme and everything. Woo! I love it. Oh? Jesus. You don't like it, you can move the Mos Eisley. <laughs> or Camino. There's nothing there, but yeah, you could just go sit in the water. No, but this just shows that immediately we already see like how he's taken even his lessons from um the Tuscans and he's already implementing them with these people. Like he easily could have been like I'm going to kill you because you did something wrong. Or I'm going to kill you because you spoke against me. But no, he... And even the fact that he took his helmet off just to humanise himself and show that he's like... He is an old man, but also he's willing to look them in the eye without his helmet. And be sort of really open and vulnerable with them. I love that aspect. And then he's saying, you know, like, come and work for me. I will give you work if there is no work in the workers' district. That's sick. I actually really, really like that aspect. Um, especially because of his character, like, we've already seen, like, how much he's changed, excuse me, through the past two episodes, um, and how much his experience, um, in sort of, like, the Dune Sea, 
technically, um, with the Tuscans, has taught him so much already as a leader and how to implement that into, yeah, what he's doing right now. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, I love this. I love how we're getting, like, the same shot, but in different, like, color schemes and stuff. That's really nice. Where are you? Oh, oh. I was like, okay, we're going to see the Tuscans. Oh, no. Is father leaving? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. That's a business standpoint. Unfortunately. <laughs> no! Oh no, please don't tell me the that Pike guy told him, like, messaged that other- those rate of whatever they are, and the gang, and told them. Yeah, it's gonna be, isn't it? Oh no! <gasps> oh my god, no! Oh no! Why? I shall have my revenge! Or well, Boba will have his revenge. <laughs> oh, that's the- yeah. There's a gang leader, yeah. Oh, Boba! This is what I mean, like, this is like- but It's so tragic for Boba because, like, he- 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 every time he finds, like, a chosen family, he loses it for one reason or another. Um, like, I bring it up again, like, in Clone Wars, again, that gang woman, or, like, that ma- mm, Yeah, she was a bounty hunter, sorry. Um, she- you know, he- I think in a way he saw her as family, even though she was messed up. Um, but, like, he thought, like, that was family because she was helping him, but in all honesty, taking advantage of him. Um... And then with this, it's just, oh no, Boba. Like, it, like, I can't imagine what he must be feeling. Like, every time he finds, like, a, like, sort of, like, a home or a family, he loses it. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, where's Finnick? Oh god. cool. Oh lord. <gasps> oh my god. Oh! oh Jesus Christ! So violent! <laughs> oh heck yeah girl. Oh, that was stressful. Oh bless Barba! He's so good to everyone! So again, obviously, I'm guessing the twins sent him? The twins oh lord. I feel bad for the people carrying them. <laughs> They're so big! <laughs> and ugly. Oh lord, poor thing! It looks ugly as hell, but poor thing. <gasps> oh! Who's an actor? Shit! I what? Where? I didn't know he was gonna be in this series. That's sick. Hmm. That's pretty sick. I love how eager Boba is to learn. Oh, he's letting an imprint on Boba. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, but it's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I always love the use of puppets in Star Wars just because, I don't know, it feels so much real but also it's like, that's such an authentic part of Star Wars that I love that they've kept bringing back on and on. Especially in the shows. It's pretty sick. Look! Brobo's got his own gang. <laughs> his own posse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's like a car. A good old-fashioned, like, racing. <laughs> Street racing. <laughs> ah, heck yeah! Ah, I like that correlation now. Makes sense. Ooh. The 
Pikes have always done that. Nice! Nice, I really like this episode. That was great. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot that Robert Rodriguez is doing the whole series. I was thinking that it's like The Mandalorian, that it's going to be different every episode. Completely forgot. My apologies. Um, but Robert Rodriguez is such an incredible director. Cool. I, I feel like this is where the story is really beginning. I know that we have eight episodes, so we've got- Oh, stop. Shh. <laughs> we've got a couple of more episodes after this, but I feel like this is where the story is really beginning. Like, obviously we know what happened a little bit with Boba's past now. We've We've sort of, like- been told like this is what happened this is what he learned and now he's implementing that as the new leader um which is really good to see like i said at the beginning that's really great to see um and just yeah they've done it really well where it's not like too much information where it's like oh like very confusing very straightforward they're just saying like i'm guessing this is where the story's gonna go like we're, there's gonna be a lot of fighting there's gonna be a lot of like I'm guessing negotiations, and obviously I think this is where we get to see that sort of negotiation dinner um, with all the different, I think the, like, different leaders obviously in the city, and I'm guessing Boba's trying to get people to come onto his side instead of going onto with the pikes, um, because he's gonna need all the support he can get. Um, so that's gonna be really interesting and really fun to watch. Um, I know a lot of people are also wondering if Din's gonna make an appearance. I mean, that would be sick, because he is technically the leader of Mandalore now. Um, he's the king, technically. But that's the thing. We don't really know what's going to happen because we don't really know what fate has sort of given to Din or sort of the hand he's been dealt. Because obviously, yes, he's got the Darksaber. He has this new responsibility, but we haven't gotten season three of The Mandalorian yet. So we have no idea what's going to happen um, and whether he'll pop up in that sort of sense like Boba did in The Mandalorian. I feel like... In my opinion, like, it would be awesome to see Din, aka Pedro Pascal, you guys know I love him, but, like, if we saw him, I, I would love to see him, like, at the very end, and whatever is in store for his fate. But anyway, going back to this episode, incredible cinematography in so many points of the entire episode, um, especially when the whole camp was burnt down, the Tuscan camp, that was heartbreaking. I hope we get to see the repercussions of that in the next episode, like what Boba did after that. Um, but again, it's so heartbreaking because he, like, like I said, I didn't get to go into this too much because I wanted to watch the episode, but he keeps losing the people he starts to care for over and over and over again. And it's heartbreaking. Like, I'm wondering if he has that feeling if, like, well, obviously with all the people trying to assassinate him and kill him, I'm wondering if he's starting to feel like his new like, sort of, like, place of p power, and also, um, I guess this growing family that he now has at the palace is going to be taken away from him, like, I wonder if that's a little bit of an anxiety for him, um, which is going to be interesting. I'm, I hope we get to sort of see that sort of come up in the next few episodes, because I, I want to see him feel really threatened. I would love that, because He's such a sweetheart. Like, I love Timora Morrison, but, like, the way he plays Boba, like, it's also, it's sort of showing that he's, like, a kid at heart. Like, he's still got, like, I guess that childness in him. He's not just this cold bounty hunter who's just, you know, murdered hundreds and hundreds of people. But he also has a little bit of, like, a cool side to him, or, like, a childish side to him, which I really like. And that's just, it's another side of him that we don't get to see. Because, obviously, probably as a young bounty hunter, he was, like... I'm going to put up this sort of persona of this big macho, like, guy who's going to go and work for the Empire and killing all these people um, without really a care. But now that that's all gone, he's sort of like, I need to probably restrain myself from that and change. And he's become a completely different person, which is so beautiful. I love that. I love Star Wars so much. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Boba Fett. Again, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The fight scenes in this particular episode were really gnarly, especially with Cran... Cr 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 I don't want to say his name wrong. Hold on. Chrysanthemum. That's the one. But yeah, especially with him. He was like huge. But also just the way he was fighting was gnarly. It was like no weapons at all. Just using my bare hands and gonna kill you. Nearly like killed Boba in a way. Or at least like knocked him unconscious a couple of times there. And I love the the, the gang of kids. Like obviously we haven't. I don't think we were caught on any of their names. But like I love 
sort of like that Barbara's taking them under his wing because he can see potential like and I think it's because they're seen as the outsiders, they're gangs, just because of how they look. Um, especially because, you know, I think one of the things that was highlighted and was made important was that they are, they've put, like, cybernetics in their bodies and stuff. Very cyberpunk-like, which is sick. Um, I like that factor. And, you know, they're changing their bodies, obviously. But I, I really like the way that they've done it, so that Boba's sort of, like, seen them... In a way, he did sort of feel threatened, maybe, because he was worried about, like, how... Um, they would, like, sort of, like, react to him and realize the situation and then said, I will take you in and you can work for me. And, yeah, that, like, that whole group is really, really cool then. Um, and I'm excited to see where it goes and the acting was so good and just, yeah, I can't wait. Like, I'm enjoying this so much that I, I already want, like, the next episode. I'm already bought by it. I just want the next one. It's so annoying. Like, I love the episode-by-episode episode format, but sometimes I'm like, can you be like Netflix just for once and give me the entire series? Like, that would be really nice. Um, especially because it's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> um, this was fantastic. I'm going to stop here because otherwise I'll keep rambling about this episode because it honestly was really, really good. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I will talk about this more probably next week so yeah mm. <laughs> so again thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!